Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I am Atul and in this video we are going to discuss about the time value function in Excel. So the time value function converts a time represented as a text into a proper Excel time format. For example, suppose you have a value as 9 am, then what will the Excel return? So if I put equal to and I am putting time value, then within double quotes I am putting 9 O A M. So this 9 O A M is a text part, right? And it is a text value. So Excel helps us to convert this time represented as text into a proper Excel time. So now if I press enter, you can see that I'm getting 0 0.375. It is the numeric representation of 9 AM in Excel time system. It is the numeric time value of Excel and it is more useful than the text value which you have given here as 9 am because they can be directly manipulated with formulas and pivot table. So the purpose of this time value function is to get a valid time from a string and returns a value that has a valid excel time as a decimal number. So let's get back to our example to understand that how we can use this time value function in excel. So we have to find out the working hour of an employee for the day and in case if you are using this data you can see that we don't have any dates here. So suppose this is the data for a single day and we have to find out that how many hours they were logged in within the system. So to do that what we need to do is that first we need to simply put equal to time value of this login time okay this gives us 0 0.49262 and it is a numerical representation of 11:49 am now if i put the same function time value for this log of time this gives me 0 0.84748 which is the numerical representation of 8 pm 20 minutes and 22 seconds now if you see this 0 0.49 is less than 0 0.847 reason being is that 0 0.49 represents 11:49 am and 0 0.84 represents 20 pm which is 8 pm now if i have to calculate the hour what i can do is that i can simply put equal to this value minus this value so what i'm doing here is that I am subtracting this log of time in numerical representation to the log in time of the numerical representation and now I am getting 0 0.35486. Now you can consider this 0 0.35486 as the proportion of a day and within a single day we have 24 hours right. So you can think of it like that Daryl has logged off for 35 percent of his entire day within the system so what we can do is that we can simply put equal to this value into 24 which is 24 hours in a single day and if i press enter you get to see that daryl has worked for 8.51 hour and now if i put equal to this minus this you can see that we are getting 8.31 am which is not the correct output. Now if I change it to number again I am getting 0 0.35 which is equivalent to this 0 0.35486. So let me increase the decimal points here. So you are getting the same output. But most of the time what happens is that when you have your time component in Excel as a text you won't be able to get this exact difference which we have done here. That's why you have to use time value to get the exact numerical representation of the time in Excel and then you have to get the difference within the two time stamps. Now if I drag this formula for this entire table I can get the total working hour of this set of people. Let's reduce the decimal points here. 
so on average i can see that everybody has worked for almost 10 hour or 11 hours except few of the people who work for 8 hours rest everybody is working around 9 hours or more than 9 hours so this is how you can use the time value function in excel to convert a time represented as a text into a proper excel time format